Alrighty YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 22. And in this tutorial, I think there's a few good things that we can knock out um, real quick. So I wanna add uh, some spacing above these packages because right now they're um, you know, squashed up right against the uh, heading up here. But also if I inspect element uh, and I look at this in my, whoops, if I look at this in my mobile design, you can see that um, they lose spacing in between each other as well. And that's somewhat annoying. So I think one way to fix this um, that will fix it both on desktop and on mobile is uh, to go over to each one of these uh, panels and just add in uh, a margin here. So let's type in UK dash margin dash large dash top. And that is going to add a large margin on the top of this panel. Um, but we wanna go ahead and repeat that for the other two as well. So let's copy that down. Mm, oh, okay. And I think I put it on the middle one, not the top one. So let's put it on the top one now. And yeah, uh, taking a look at this, we now have a large margin on the top, which um, sort of puts a similar amount of spacing between our slideshow and our heading and then our heading and our packages and that's cool, right? And if we inspect this uh, on our mobile design as well, we've got a spacing here, we've got some spacing here, we've got some spacing here. So all of that is looking pretty good. Uh, I think something else I might wanna do is just make this button stand out a bit more. So in order to do that, I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so let's just on the buttons add in UK dash button dash large uh, to all of these as well. So let's copy that down and already did it for that one. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you see this button's a little bit bigger than the others. It's cause I, I was testing things out a little bit. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, now these buttons are all a little bit bigger and they stand out a little bit more. Um, and yeah, if we take a look at this in mobile, I'd say that's pretty much sorted as well. Now, uh, one thing I do wanna do, yeah, you can see the spacing here on mobile changes. So now it's small spacing with huge spacing. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna have to work our way around that. Even this spacing, it looks, somewhat even, but I don't think it is. Um, so that's something that we can definitely, you know, pick up in our snags. That's why we have the uh, snagging quality control section. Uh, although, yeah, it is good to kind of um, do these things before the, we get to that section. So if we can fix it now, we will. Um, but I, I'm not sure how I'm going to at the moment, so. But I think I'm just gonna power on through this build for now. So I'll I'll try to think of a solution for this stuff and, and get back to you. Uh, but let's uh, add in another block down here. Uh, so if we take a look at our design, the next block here is supposed to be a primary block or a blue block with um, the text, thousands of people travel with link. So, you know, let's, let's try get that in there. Uh, so let's go back to our text editor and I guess uh, underneath the uh, package section, but yeah, right underneath this div down here, let's create the next div. Um, and I don't know what we wanna call this, just like our, or let's just say uh, thousands of people travel with link, right. Okay. Uh, so now we can put in our classes and I think uh, we're going to be using a similar set of classes as to what we've put up here. So let's just copy those down, paste them here. And instead of the secondary background, let's use the primary background and let's throw in uh, what I want to be it's gonna look like a heading one, but instead let's just use a heading two and give it a class of UK dash H1, uh, UK H1, not UK button primary. Um, and let's just put some text in here. So what was it? Uh, thousands of people travel with link, right? 
So we can just put that in there, save this, and go over to the browser, refresh. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good, except for the fact that um, the text is aligned to the left. Uh, so, what we could do to fix that is just add in UK text center and then maybe around this just for mobile responsiveness we're probably going to need a div around the uh, the heading here that has a class of UK container and UK container center right so let's refresh and look at that now Okay, so that's looking much, much better. Thousands of people travel with link. Awesome, so we've got the slideshow, we've got our packages, we've got this thing. What else did we have in our design? Ah, yeah, okay, so the next section was a uh, section with a white background, an image to the left, some text to the right. Uh, and this can be done um, quite easily. Uh, so let's do that um, and I guess I don't know what we're gonna call this uh, testim testimonies uh, is probably the right word I don't know how you spell testimonies is it like that or like this hmm. might have to look that up uh, and then let's open up a div uh, for this one I'm just gonna give it a class of UK dash block will leave the primary and the secondary colors out and because of that we'll also leave the UK contrast class out because we want dark text not contrasted white text uh, and let's uh, create a div here and this div obviously needs the class of UK container and UK container center right and in here we can put in our content right so the first one is gonna be a div. Um, and if we look at this, it is gonna be an image and then a testimony. So uh, it is an image taking up half the screen with the testimony taking up the other half of the screen. And I think uh, we might wanna just use UIKit's documentation here to figure this one out. Okay, so uh, this thing that I wanted to look for in the documentation uh, was this vertical align section. So uh, that's under core and utility. And if you scroll down, uh, yeah, you've got this example here where you've got text displaying in the middle and then we can have our image on the side here. That's pretty much what I've got going on in my design as well. So we've got our image. And then our text isn't starting up here in line with the image, it's actually starting in the center. So it is vertically aligned with the vertical align um, component or utility component here. So this is something we are going to be uh, adding in. And I guess uh, we need to figure out how to, <laughs> how to work with this. So I guess something I'd like to do here is uh, maybe just add in my uh, cl oh, a class of UK dash grid and then inside of that grid let's create a div here uh, and we'll give that a class of UK dash width dash medium uh, one of two uh, right and that's just because we're splitting the screen into two uh, and one for the picture one for the content or for the text uh, so we can copy this down one and our image will go whoopsie not an i tag image tag come on our image will go here and our uh, heading probably gonna be an h2 or an h3 uh, should go here uh, so let's see Sean and Guppy's story uh, Sean and Guppy's story right and then for the text let's just go ahead and type and where is the and button <laughs> and lorem hit tab that's gonna generate some lorem ipsum for us and then I'm not sure if we need a button for that no we just need lorem ipsum 
uh, and we can probably use one or two uh, paragraphs, right? So now let's save this and let's see what we've got in the browser. So let's come back here and refresh. Okay, so we've got our <laughs> our text. We just don't have the image, uh, and that is something that is my bad. So let's see if we can get this image under story story one. Okay, so I've got my images prepared here, cropped and uh, sized at the exact same size, 600 by 400. So let's copy that stories folder over to my images folder. Let's paste that in here. Uh, so basically, I mean, here's the code for our entire website. We've got our images in images and our stories in stories. So um, let's figure out how to use one of these images there. All right, so uh, for the source, let's go images, packages, Oh, not packages, stories, Sean and Guppy. And when we should probably do, we can do the exact same thing for the next one here, which is going to be uh, Taz and Sam, right? So let's, uh, let's take a look at that in the browser, refresh, awesome. So we've got our image, we've got our text, our image, our text. Um, Okay, Sean and Guppy again. Let's change that title. Uh, Taz and Sam's story. Taz's and Sam's story, Sean's and Guppy's. And uh, Guppy should be with the capital. Okay. Cool, well, hmm. Uh, still got a lot of work to be done here. Uh, so I'm not sure how long this tutorial is, but I think I'm gonna end it off here. But before I do, I wanna send a huge shout out to these guys whose names are on screen now. Uh, these are my patrons and they help me make more videos for you guys more often. So if you like the videos I create and you wanna help me make more, consider becoming a patron because the best way to help me with a little bit of money and stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video because all of that stuff is gonna help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in another one. Thank you.